Hi, this is Jim Starkweather, the publisher of Kitmaker Network and Armorama.com, and welcome to another episode of Cracking the Box. Today we've got a new release from Tamiya. This is the Jagdpanzer Thier slash 70V Lang. Uh, this was SDKFC 162-1. Now, this is a new 2014 release. Um, not really sure too much about this kit. I just got it, and I haven't uh, done any online homework on it, so kind of bear with me. I believe this is a new Tamiya uh, plastic kit. Uh, it has 2014 stamps on the plastic. I already kind of checked that out pre-opening or pre-doing this video. But uh, on the box it says 135th scale monitor series number 340, German Jagdpanzer Vier slash 70V Lang, streamlined form with low profile fighting compartment, accurately captured. Long main gun uses one piece barrel and separate muzzle, faithfully reproduces surface textures such as cast iron, Sokhoff mantlet and hull welding, depicts late production lightweight tracks, two torso figures depict commander and loader, three marking options include western front unit. Now, before I open the box, I'll uh, also include that, or also add that I got a detail set that's available for this as well, and that includes a metal barrel for the kit. Um, looks like some additional interior detailing pieces and uh, gun barrel set is what it, the way it's marked. But uh, but yeah, very interesting. 1,200 yen, so you can see roughly price-wise uh, what that's going to be. Um, if you're not familiar with our unboxing videos, I'm going to just do a quick little unboxing of it, then we'll have some photos, and then we'll, uh, I'll show some photos of the detail set as well, and uh, then we'll uh, come back and conclude, uh, but let's do the unboxing portion obviously first. So here we go, we'll just open her up. Uh, you can see typical Tamiya, uh, nice quality plastic individually wrapped, and very nice, actually kind of a, um, I don't know, soft almost kind of plastic uh, sheets here. Uh, the one-piece barrel is obviously sticking out uh, right off the bat and noticeable. Uh, the mantlet has uh, a nice textury finish on it. Uh, there is a line running across the top here, but I think that's completely intentional. Um, again, there's um, part of the outer, this is the outer, uh, this is the mantlet here, but the outer, uh, maybe that's the scuff, scuff, whatever it was, the Sokhoff mantlet? I'm not sure. I'm not an expert on German mantlets. I don't profess to be. Um, so, uh, yeah, it looks the quality of these pieces look good. Um, again, will be some closer photo, closer photos of these, so don't uh, get too stressed at me holding them up like this. I'm mostly looking at it for myself here. All right, so the uh, track links are, are the tracks are obviously vinyl tracks uh, with a four four uh, point uh, connection there to, to weld them or, or glue them, sh uh, seal them completely together. I'm not awake yet, it's still early. <laughs> Let's open up the uh, bags here for the uh, tracks, which are obviously a duplicate piece here. Uh, this one is sprue P. And uh, let me just check on this one too. Uh, usually there's date stamps somewhere on here. Uh, but the one I just opened was definitely I checked, and this one, I'm actually not seeing any. Oh yeah, there it is. Uh, 2014 to me, yeah. So this is not a reused part; it's a new part. Uh, very nice detailing here on the road wheels and uh, idler wheels. Um, the main sprockets are very, very well detailed. Seeing a lot of nice fine detail in the springs here. Um, but uh, yeah, definitely take a look at those photos when we get them up. Here's part of the main top hull. Not, the, not part of the main top hull. Uh, get this sucker out of here. This is part D. Again, noticing some really nice fine detail here on the, the maintenance hatches, um, the back hatches. Not, um, obviously not commenting on the accuracy of these, but uh, again, 2014 stamps. So I believe all these parts are new. Let's get the lower half all out. We can do a potential little test bit here. 2014 stamps. Um, looks good. Uh, really nice detail here. Um, I don't know if you can let me get up just so I can potentially see some of what I'm talking about. Um, escape hatch. 
go ahead and do a dry test fit here. I'm not sure how. I think I may be missing some pieces to try to fit it though. Yeah, it goes kind of in like that. And of course, there's a lot of additional support pieces that are missing, but that's generally how it goes together. I'm not really seeing anything there to any great degree. And the last piece of sprue here, or the last sprue in the box. This includes some of the figures. And uh, I have to admit that even the figures look very well. Tell me just quickly, can I tease you there on those? Just the, the, the cloth and clothing look very uh, kind of textured almost and stuff. Very nice. Um, this one includes obviously some of those support pieces I was talking about. The top uh, hull piece that goes in. Um, so all the, all the hatches open. Uh, there's a piece of track here for maintenance. Um, very nice. Uh, decals. Uh, there's one small decal Again, sheet. Um, 2014 dates on that. And then there's a small bag with some rubber grommets and uh, such here as well. And then the uh, instructions. There's a background sheet, which they do on all their models now. Um, some color camouflage schemes. So there's three different schemes here, just as the box noted. Uh, one is the 655th Heavy Anti-Tank Battalion, Western Front, December 1944. Uh, then Unit Unknown, Western Front, December 1944. And Unit Unknown, Eastern Front, early 1945. And they do have some actual reference photos as well, as they've been doing, and also a figure camouflage paint scheme. So, very nice addition there. Um, this is part of the detail. Uh, just nomenclature. They have a nomenclature section. Kind of cool. I should study that. Learn myself some more terms. Uh, and uh, the instructions are pretty straightforward, obviously, for Tamiya. I'm not seeing any major issues here. Pretty, pretty standard Tamiya stuff. Not very complex, obviously. And uh, only 27 steps total in the, in the instruction process. So let's take a look at some photos.
Hey, I hope you enjoyed the photos of the new Timia Jagdpanzer uh, IV. I'm only saying that because I'm used to it now in World of Tanks. So the Jagdpanzer IV slash 70 V, which is pro probably fit five, I'm assuming. Uh, and Lang. Any, can anybody uh, tell me in the comment section what the Lang part means? Obviously, it's some kind of something in German. Uh, and uh, late, maybe is that is that meaning late Lang? So um, the uh, uh, I'm sure this kit will be very uh, well received. I mean, not as again, not as highly complex as some some other modern releases, but that's to me his style, and we all know that. Uh, at least the guys who've been building building models for as long as some of us have. So uh, it's it's what you kind of expect with to me a high quality plastic and uh, well put together, easy to put together, but uh, maybe without all that photo etch. Obviously, no photo etch included with this kit. There potentially will be some photo etch offerings from uh, aftermarket companies. But that's just not normally to me a style. They do have these detailed up part sets, which is nice that they've offered the metal barrel. The metal barrel, by the way, um, I probably put some photos uh, earlier, but uh, it does look like it has some very nice uh, some uh, barrel detail there with the the front of the barrel it captures the the line on the front here. But the plastic part, um, I believe, does as well. So uh, you can take your choice there. Uh, thanks for watching, and if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below in the comments section. Uh, or uh, remember, you can rate this video on both YouTube and our website to kind of give it an, an up score mark if you liked it. And we'll be passing this on to somebody for a build review or build feature. And if you're interested in that, you can always contact me at publisher at kimmaker.net if it's not uh, already uh, spoken for. Uh, you can check our samples list on the front page uh, for that status, though. Well, thanks for watching again, and we'll catch you next time on Cracking the Box.